What does the Supreme Court think co constitutes fair use? I'm Mike Stager. I'm a copyright and trademark attorney. And today I'm going to talk about a recent Supreme Court decision on the fair use doctrine under copyright law. So fair use is a defense to copyright infringement that allows someone to use a copyrighted work under very limited uh, exceptions that they don't have to pay for a license, they're allowed to use the work. And this case uh, was called Andy Warhol Foundation versus Goldsmith. Brief factual background, a prominent uh, rock pop music photographer named Lynn Goldsmith took a photograph of Prince in 1981. It looks like this. In 1984, she licensed that photo to Andy Warhol, who used it to create an illustration that appeared in Vanity Fair. Under that license, uh, Warhol paid uh, a $400 fee and created an illustration that was based on that photo. There's some different coloring. Um, what actually happened was he did a series of photos, or a series of illustrations. Some were orange, some were purple, they were a wide range of colors. So the use for Vanity Fair was fine, it was licensed. Now, Warhol died in 1987. In 2016, the Andy Warhol Foundation, which controls the rights to his works, uh, licensed a version of the Prince illustrations that he made in 1984 to Condé Nast. And Condé Nast used it on the cover of this publication. Now it's in color, but I don't have a color printer, so you gotta use your imagination. Uh, Goldsmith found out about this. She wasn't paid for this use, so she sued. Uh, I'm sorry, she threatened to sue. Uh, the Warhol Foundation filed suit to say, hey, we didn't do anything wrong, judge, say, you know, we did, we were in the clear here. So this went through, uh, district court went to the Court of Appeals, the Supreme Court recently ruled that the use was not fair, and the Supreme Court's reasoning was that the Andy Warhol Foundation's licensing of the derivative work that was based on Goldsmith's photo undermined the commercial market for her photo. Uh, and in part, it's based on that Andy Warhol paid to use the photo originally. Nobody paid to use the photo for Condé Nast in 2016. Uh, what's this, what's the lesson for anybody who wants to use fair use? The lesson is this is a very fact intensive case. It's very specific. Court made very clear that it was not drawing broad principles or laying out broad rules. We're gonna have to see what happens with other courts as they try to interpret this in the months and years ahead. So good for copyright lawyers because, you know, doesn't have broad rules. Everything's going to be fact intensive in case by case. I'm Mike Steger. I'm a copyright and trademark lawyer. If you have any questions about fair use, give me a call. And my use of these images here was fair because I took them straight from the Supreme Court opinion.